You ready? Yeah. Sweet mother! Hey! <laughs> Hey everybody, James Yeager with Tax Response. Thanks for watching. Uh, I bought this Beretta Gen 2 on Tim's uh, recommendation a few weeks ago. And uh, we're gonna come out here and shoot a little bit. And we're gonna talk about, we have a series going on. This is uh, part two. Part two is shooting the Gen 2. Part one, if you haven't seen it, it's Gen 1 versus Gen 2. Part three, very special, Gen 2 versus a Langdon Tactical Beretta. So these will be interesting videos for you. So uh, on to part two. All right, guys, uh, start talking about Beretta shotguns, Gen 2. Okay, so we went from the Gen 1, which had that fatal flaw, which was the bolt release could be activated during your shooting and it's gonna drop two rounds out of the magazine and jam the gun up. Beretta listened to their customers and they fixed that on the Gen 2. You should take full credit for that. <laughs> you should say, bro, listen to me. <laughs> well, I wasn't the only one, but th th they listened. Uh, the second thing, difference between the better Gen 1 and Gen 2 is screw in chokes. I don't necessarily think that's a plus or a minus. It is not, what it not is. for us. Not for us. I, don't want, I want cylinder bore, which is what Gen 1s were. Uh, I don't actually know what chokes in this one. I'm assuming it's cylinder bore, but that's basically it. Uh, they also, I guess because of customer feedback, is they gave us three colors now. Not that that's important to us either, but it is what it is. What are the colors? Flat Dark Earth, OD Green, and Black. Oh man, I should got green. <laughs> OD is the best color. Let's, James, what color is yours, Brian? James found this at it's the local. Coat. James found this at the local store. No, you found that. I found it. And bought it to me and said, you should buy this. <laughs> okay, whatever. It's it, very it, persuasive. It, I, I, we may have been persuasive like that. Nonetheless, uh, it's Coyote, uh, very good piece of kit. Uh, the Blink system is our op gas operating system. It stays the same in Gen 1s and Gen 2s. The forearm, the stock, everything stays the same. Uh, up here though, uh, they went from plastic rail, uh, Penny, Picatinny, to a aluminum Picatinny. Aluminium. Uh, the rear sight though is still plastic. Uh, not a big deal, but the rail itself is aluminum now. Uh, we added a Nordic, which I suggest anytime you're going to add extension, use Nordic. They're the best. A Nordic two round extension on this. So other than that, this gun is stock. How many rounds does it hold with the extension? How many rounds does it hold? It holds seven and one. And so how eight. much does it weigh? It weighs 6.4 pounds empty. He's pretty impressive when you're talking about shotguns, yeah. ain't Brian? Like. Yeah, yeah. Uh, shotguns, mules, tractors. <laughs> what? And butt stroking fools. <laughs> it's, it's got a soft butt so, so anyway, it's, it's hollow. Uh, Good piece of kit. Uh, the other thing I really like about this gun, uh, there, uh, when we get to the Langdon, uh, you're gonna see the different Magpul stock. I don't personally think it needs it because the length of pull Let's on this Let's save that for that one. Okay, but the length of pull on this stock is somewhere around 12. Show so, them how to load this thing. Okay, loading this thing, port loading it. We're gonna grab, let me grab a wad full of shells and just throw them up here. First one's gonna go in the chamber. Just reach up here, stick it in, hit the button. It locks it in. What buttons you hit? I hit the bolt release button. Okay. Okay. And then we just start feeding it. Now Brian had me do hit this button right down here. Okay, that button gets around out on the feed tray lever. Uh, so if you wanted to make it cruiser ready, like cops like cruiser ready. Okay. Empty the chamber, load this thing up, nothing in the chamber. When you get ready to load it, uh, you just stick one out there, the round stops out on the feed tray there. And when you push this, it loads it now. <laughs> if I didn't do it hard enough. It loads it, so you can have it cruiser ready. Okay, so what if I had it in the tube, but I didn't push that button? Nothing would come out. Hold on a second, and I had it loaded. If I fired this shot, nothing else would come out? No, it would come out because activation of the trigger also makes oh, okay. it cycle. Okay, okay. So right now it's ready to go, but if I want to make it cruiser ready, put it away like in my patrol car, I just rack this round out. Nothing is gonna get back in it again. It's Unless until, you have the trigger and, pulled or I, that button push pushed. That lever. Okay. Right. So I'm going to finish loading it. Uh, the thing about loading these things, anything with a feed tray cover like this has had a tendency to bite your thumbs if you keep them, if you point them. I keep my thumb completely flat. 
and you should use inertia and you will never get bit. M2 Benelli's are the notorious for that. <laughs> they call it Benelli thumb. Okay, now it's completely full, but there's nothing in the chamber. I'm gonna drop one in the chamber and then finish loading it. Brian, you're allowed to talk. I hear, well, so, you can't get him to stop speaking when he's talking that <laughs> Here, why don't you put this in your hand? Let's get some air pro. Let me get some air pro on and we'll shoot this bullet. All right, Brian. So, how long have you had your brother? Oh, uh, I got it in uh, February, right after I took fighting shotgun. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what did you take fighting shotgun with? What I take fighting shotgun with? I had a uh, I borrowed one from the shop. Okay, the, so the, 870, the 870, 870 police straight in. Okay, and why did you get the brother? Because it's cool. Okay, I like uh, that. I, I think uh, for uh, smaller statured folks such as myself, uh, the when you're doing stuff like uh, offside shooting and things like that, the, the manipulation uh, okay. is not such no, a stretch fair. with it's a semi-auto shotgun. And it's semi-auto. And it's semi-automatic. The, the uh, listen, I'm a fan of that, that Remington. Everybody knows that. But the most common mistake with a pump shotgun is what, Tim? Short stroke. Yeah. They don't pump the damn thing, yeah. or they don't pump it right, mm -hmm. and uh, so uh, so it solves that problem for sure. And uh, shotgun, some other shotguns are badass. Uh, they're getting better and better and better, and I think uh, for the money, I used to say if money was an issue, an M4 would be the one I go with. I don't think that's so anymore. Even for the money, I think this is the best shotgun on the market for the money. Right, and take people back like 20 years, Tim. It was like a Benelli Super 90 or right. you know, a room until 1100 didn't work. Right. You know, so the technology has really gotten better. And the technology between the Remington 1100, 1187 and this is, this uses steel components to make the gas system work. Instead of? Instead of rubbers like uh, O-rings. Oh, okay. Uh, the 1100, 1187 use O-rings. They were fine when they were new, but when the gun got worn, they'd stretch, split, cut, gotcha. whatever, and then make the gun quit. This thing. Holy, uh, holy shit, Tim's pistol. like a shotgun Wikipedia page here. <laughs> All right, uh, do, <laughs> do, do some shooting there. Okay. How heat. about one on each? Okay. And fight. Good shooting, Tex. Put some more bullets in that thing. Keep your thumb straight. Keep, Keep your thumb, thumb straight. Thumb Why are you shooting so slow? Uh, this, this, is, this is a for real tip I'm about to give you. Don't wait to see the rounds puff on the target. If you see your front sight and it is correct, and when you press it, move to the next target. Yes, sir. I, I promise, it'll double your, double your time. And fight. All right? You see what I'm saying? Like it doubled, uh, cut, sorry, cut your time in half. Yep. Quick shooting. Tim, you got any tips for him? No. Uh, <laughs> just, when you, just like you're doing. Just a tip. <laughs> just just for a minute. Feels. Just for a minute. Give him yep. a tip. Just, uh -oh, just for uh -oh. a minute. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. That's a good point. Turn around. So what happened there was turn the gun port towards you and see it. What happened there, he was loading it and he didn't get it all the way in the magazine so it fell back out on the lifter. The only way to fix this now, he's gonna have to rack this gun out, rack it, rack the bolt, rack the bolt, okay, let it go. Now he's cleared this space again because what happened was as long as this thing sitting on the feed tray lip, turn it towards him, as long as this thing's sitting here, you can't load anymore. Now he could just go ahead and shoot it, would have been fine, but if you want to fill it up, you're gonna to have to get this off the feed tray or off the lifter and open this space back up. Now you can continue loading it. I'd have just shot him. That's what, that's, that was a good answer. That's a good answer, yeah. There was probably enough in it to get the job done. Yeah. Just for the sake of, of you, Brian, you that time, the first time you went the speed where you felt comfortable, the second time you went at the maximum speed you felt comfortable. This time I want you to go faster than you feel comfortable. When okay. you see that white land on that front side, press your trigger and move. Yes, Good sir. Good enough. Yep. All right. All right. See if you can take one more in there, Brian. I don't know. Right there. Nope. Nope. You had it all. All right. See white. Press the trigger. And fight. 
You might be a shotgun shooter, Brian. <laughs> well, I don't know if you know, I'm from Bytelin, Kentucky. We them old boys raised on shotgun. Y'all know what I'm saying. Uh, quit talking to him and load the gun. Come on, man. Same team. <laughs> Look, you gotta represent, Tim. You gotta. Well, you, you listen, you're doing it right now. You're talking and loading. You can do that simultaneously. Yeah, well, uh, sometimes I, I don't know if I need bubble gum in your mouth. I right need now, but another yeah. monster, I think, in the making. God damn. I He's had two in the last two hours. Well, I'm still behind. I'm behind on the caffeine schedule. So, nonetheless. <laughs> Tell them to do something, Tim. All right, uh, let's start in the middle. Yep. Uh, the one you're looking at and go three to the left. So the one in the middle and two to the left. Okay. Fast as you can do it. And fight. Now go from where you're at, right to left, all three of them. Fight. Now your hold that time was a little bit lower. We, and I was about to tell you to start holding it a little bit lower because you're missing some of the shot off the top of the mm -hmm. shoulders. Mm -hmm. But that second run, you were more in the center of them. Yep. And that's what you want. Aim right dead for the I know we're used to aiming for that top center chest with uh, with pistols and rifles, but this is a different gun. So aim right in the middle of the so chest. So what we have yes, here sir? when we're using double lock buck, we got those nine pellets. I want them to spread. That's where the advantage is on this thing compared to a pistol. So if I'm a little off on the heart, I'm probably still going to get it just because that spread is working for us. People say you want to make the chokes tighter. It's the incorrect thing to do. I want that spread. Yeah, I don't want, I don't want, I don't want flight control. I don't want any of that shit. I want no. the spread. If I want flight control, I'll just put a slug in That's there. That's correct. That's the right answer. All right, Brian, let's do the three on the right. Extreme spread over here. Starting on the far right, mm -hmm. come left. So that one, that one, and that one. All right. Starting from the right. Amen. Why are you waiting on me? And fight. Yeah, now go from where you're at to the right. Fight. Right. Again, again, what I'm seeing here, just a little bit of hesitation. You're waiting for a perfect sight picture or trying to get a perfect sight picture. Don't do that. When you see white, like you said, let her go. It's good enough. All right, load her up, baby. All right, so we'll do one more drill and then uh, I'll let these guys have their day. Uh, Brian, thank you for coming out on your yes, day sir. off and helping out Tim. You think he's a mongoloid, and then he starts talking about shotguns, and there he is. Well, so, every squirrel, you know, even blind squirrel so, finds a nut. <laughs> we'll close out with this last drill. But Brian, Tim, and James from Tactical Response remind you that your responsibility to be ready for the fight never ends. Fighting shotgun, Tim usually teaches those. Come on out. Come in January.